We are here uh, at Technomotor with a Raster 3S automotive scanner. We are in a Fiat Toro 2.0 engine. It's a diesel pickup, uh, quite popular here in Brazil. And we're going to test a couple of functions, very interesting. Uh, we're going to test uh, the um, new ECU function and uh, DPF regeneration. Okay, first of all, we're going to choose the vehicle here, the brand, first of all Fiat, let's look at the model, model Toro 2.0, okay and these are the systems we have available for this vehicle, we're gonna enter diesel engine, here's the position of the connector, now it's communicating with the ECU, And we are going to adjustment, uh, uh, sorry, programming functions. Here we 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 can uh, program new injectors and also the new ECU. Okay, we're gonna do do this uh, this uh, function. Here for doing this, we have we need to have the ignition key on in on position and the engine in off. Okay, so we're gonna do the the new ECU programming. Confirm the operation. Yes. Turn off ignition and press yes, it's okay. Now we have to wait a few seconds. Uh, this uh, procedure is done when you replace uh, an ECU of the vehicle for a new one. You have to do this procedure in order to 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 the vehicle do the correct settings for the new ECU. Okay, turn on the key and confirm. And now, after a few seconds, the operation is done, it's complete. Okay. This is a very use, uh, very useful function, and we have it available for all the systems of the of the vehicle. Okay, uh, we can uh, access ABS system, for example, and we will also find easily this function. Okay, we can replace any of the ECUs of the vehicle, and we will easily find the option here in the raster for programming the new ECU. Okay, and uh, now we are we're going to to perform the DPF regeneration to show you how easy is done in this vehicle. Okay, we communicate again with the system. We go to adjustments and we. Regeneration of the particulate filter. This is it. We have to. We need the engine on, the vehicle stopped, and the temperature above 70 degrees Celsius and below 75. So we confirm the operation. We need to start the engine. Now the vehicle started uh, to perform the DPF regeneration. The, the RPM starts to go up, now it's at 2000 RPM and it will go during this process it will go up to 3000 RPM more or less in order to, to heat up the DPF and burn all the soot and regenerate it. Now the revolutions are about 3000 3, RPM and this whole process will last more or less 10 minutes until it uh, finishes automatically. Okay, well after 10 minutes of operation, raster has finished doing the DPF regeneration. Now the rotations have, come, have gone back to the normal value. Uh, operation is complete, we confirm. And now the DPF filter has been regenerated. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching.